In this video, we solve problems using right angle triangles and trig ratios. But in these questions, the actual triangle won't be given. Instead, we'll have to first isolate and draw a right angle triangle from the information given. And then solve the problem using a suitable trig ratio. So, let's start with the calculation of a tree's height from the length of its shadow. At 4 pm, this tree has a shadow 10.2 meters long. At this time, the sun's rays make a 35 degree angle with the ground. How can we use this information to calculate the tree's height? The shadow length and the tree's height x make a right angle, so we can draw this right angle triangle. As we know an angle and one side, we can use a trig ratio to work out side x. The longest side, or hypotenuse, isn't relevant to this problem. We're only interested in the side opposite the angle and the side adjacent to the angle. And with these two sides, we choose the tangent ratio for this problem. Substituting the values into the formula, we write tangent 35 equals x over 10.2. To get x on its own, we multiply tangent 35 by 10.2. Then we enter this into a calculator, which tells us that x equals 7.1 meters when rounded to one decimal place. And so the tree's height is 7.1 meters. Baldwin Street in the city of Dunedin, New Zealand is listed by Guinness World Records as the world's steepest residential street. Along the steepest section of 200 meters, the street rises 65 meters in elevation. How can we calculate the angle of inclination of this section? We represent the given information with this right angle triangle. And since we know two of the sides, we can use a trig ratio to calculate angle B. We label the hypotenuse and the side opposite. In this problem, the adjacent side is not relevant. So, with the opposite and hypotenuse, we can use the sine ratio to work out angle B. Substituting the values into the formula, we write sine B equals 65 over 200. We use the inverse sine function to work out angle B. And enter this into a calculator. Which gives us an answer of 19 degrees to the nearest degree and therefore the angle of inclination of Baldwin Street. A cherry picker is a platform on the end of a mechanical arm that can be adjusted to various heights. The arm of this cherry picker extends 7 meters from the pivot P to a point Q at the base of the platform. The arm is then raised to make an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical. Now, if the pivot P is 1.2 meters above the ground, what is the height of the platform? If we draw a line to represent the arm from P to Q and use the 45 degree angle, we can form this right angle triangle. Since we know point P is 1.2 meters above the ground, the height H is equal to this side X plus 1.2. We know an angle and one side, so we can use a trig ratio to work out side X. We label the hypotenuse the opposite and the adjacent. The opposite side isn't relevant to this problem, leaving us with the adjacent and hypotenuse, so we use the cosine ratio. Substituting the values into the formula, we write cosine 45 equals x divided by 7. Multiply cosine 45 by 7 to get x on its own, and enter this into a calculator which gives x equals 4.9 meters rounded to one decimal place. Now, if we add this to 1.2, we get h equals 6.1 meters, the height of the platform above the ground. Finally, in this example, we want to calculate the angle of inclination of a gable roof. This type of roof has a peak in the middle with the same incline on each side. This roof is 3.1 meters high and 8.6 meters wide. So, how can we calculate A, the angle of inclination of this roof? Since the incline is the same on both sides, we can draw an isosceles triangle to represent the roof. 
we can then break this up into two right angled triangles. We have the opposite side and the adjacent side, so we use the tangent ratio. Substituting the values into the formula and using the inverse tangent function, we enter this into a calculator. giving us an answer of 36 degrees when rounded to the nearest degree. And so the angle of inclination of this gable roof is 36 degrees.